Hey there, St. Paul's. Uh, it is May 5th, uh, 2020, and we have our noon devotional here uh, for us at St. Paul as we continue uh, with our online, uh, some of our online uh, resources here for you during this COVID-19 interim. Uh, brief announcement here to you just to mention, uh, this last Sunday we did have public services here at St. Paul's. And uh, we will continue to do so for the time being, uh, 8 o'clock and 10.30. Um, there's a video on the uh, church Facebook page, uh, if you haven't had a chance to check it out, uh, explaining to you exactly how we are handling uh, things with uh, COVID-19 as far as how we enter into the sanctuary, the safety precautions that we've taken, so forth. Uh, so please keep that in mind to check that out um, at the uh, church Facebook page as well. A um, couple other things here. Uh, we are not having our men's or women's Bible study. Um, the Sunday Bible study is online too as well. So a lot of these things, uh, we're still using the, <clears throat> excuse me, the internet in the time being. And we'll, we'll continue with uh, these responsive uh, uh, prayer, uh, daily prayer uh, services here for you uh, through this internet as well. A um, couple other things too. There's some other projects I've been working on that you may have noticed on Tuesdays. Uh, there is a video that's released by uh, Higher Things. It's called Hymnal 101, and that's just kind of going through our Lutheran hymnal, uh, the different ins and outs and how the hymnal works. <clears throat> so that'll be on Tuesdays uh, released for you. And then on uh, Thursdays, we have the Anchored in Christ videos. Those are videos that are being released uh, to you uh, with respect to our upcoming Sunday School lessons here at St. Paul's, so keep that in mind as well. All right, for today, um, we're going to be looking at responsive prayer on page 282. Uh, a couple of people here. Uh, good to see you, Carol, Brian, uh, Linda, um, <coughs> and so forth. Um, Emily up uh, up north. Good to see you, Emily, as well. Excuse me, a little tickle here this morning. Uh, so 282 for responsive prayer one. 282 if you have your hymnals. Holy God, holy and most gracious Father, have mercy and hear us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And let us confess our faith as, ex as expressed in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Um, our devotional today comes from a little devotional booklet uh, that I've uh, found quite a bit of enjoyment reading. Um, I, I, again, I don't always agree with everything how the author states it. Um, and that's with many devotional booklets. Uh, there's sometimes there's things that uh, maybe a little bit off, uh, but nonetheless, this uh, this devotional for today is actually uh, quite on. It's from uh, Frederick uh, Wisloff. Uh, it's an older book called Rest a While. Um, it is published uh, in English, but it's actually from Norway. Um, it's uh, El Eder Lit is is the Norwegian. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it exactly correct, but uh, nonetheless, he has a really nice devotional on Psalm 121 verse 7. It says this, The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Psalm 121, verse 7. Here's what uh, he says. There's much evil in the world, many tears, much suffering, countless disappointments. The child's weeping is painful. The adult's pain is deep. Evil awaits a person at every crossroad in life. But the Lord has promised he shall preserve thee from all evil. O oh, thou marvelous God, though the world is evil, thou art good. I seek refuge in thy preserving mercy. I hide myself in thy bosom. Make my soul good by the great goodness of your mercy. Hear the prayer which thou didst once teach us to pray. Deliver us from evil. Above all, preserve my soul. For the greatest evil in the world is sin. 
And if thou dost not preserve me, I will surely become the prey of my sin, for I am weak. Without thy help, I cannot cope with the temptation. Lord, come to me with thy strong power and your word. Let me experience that thy promise is true. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. I thank thee, thou gracious God, for thy preserving mercy towards me. For every step and for every breath I take, I am dependent upon thee and your word. Without thee I am nothing, but with thee I am safe, always. Ah, good stuff. Very good stuff. I actually kind of like the uh, the these and the thous too. Kind of gives it a little more historical feeling too. So that's kind of nice. Uh, wonderful stuff. Uh, if you think about it, we we are constantly bombarded by the enemy of our of our old Adam, the sin of our old Adam. Uh, we're constantly bombarded by the ideologies of the world, the devil who seeks to kill and destroy our faith. And we are praying in that devotional that we would be uh, kept safe from evil, uh, safe from the devil, safe from the world, and safe from ourselves. Uh, buried deeply in the wounds of Christ, uh, constantly receiving his word, resting in his word for us. And that is our prayer uh, in our day and age, every day, uh, especially now. We continue on 283 in your hymnals, 283. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon the earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, and the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Let us pray. Gracious Jesus, our Lord and our God, at this hour you bore our sins in your own body on the tree, so that we, being dead to sin, might live unto righteousness. Have mercy upon us now and at the hour of our death, and grant to us, your servants, with all others who devoutly remember your blessed passion, a holy and peaceful life in this world, and through your grace, eternal glory in the life to come. For with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen, amen. Well, it's good to see all of you out there. Uh, good to see you, Melissa, Connie, Cheryl, uh, again, Emily, uh, Karsten. Uh, good to see you as well. Brian, Carol, the rest of you guys. Uh, have a wonderful day in Christ, resting in that uh, assurance that he holds you uh, in the midst of evil, that he preserves you. Uh, may he always preserve us by his word and sacraments, uh, we pray. All right, God bless. We'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.